I would say since our guests arrived, we should probably not waste any more time. Hello and welcome everybody to the Awkward Cast. A in mind, keyframe, wonder about random drivel. And here we are, the last episode of the year. And uh, we yeah. are once again joined by Embrus, uh, one, one of our uh, uh, fireproof the veterans at this point. <laughs> <laughs> the most appearing person on the podcast, besides the are? besides the Eurocast. I just want to say, British Ninja's probably competition. Yeah, he's our most appearing American. <laughs> yeah. he, he, he what can I say? Me. People, people love me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, and I mean, since you have been here so often, maybe we can shortcut the question: Who you are, what you do, and why should people care? With damn it, I draw. Where is it? I draw he's for a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Why is my dab not appearing? I don't know. It, 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 even it cringed at your joke. <laughs> no. No. I, I, I renamed the folders. That's why it doesn't find it anymore. Yeah, well, no, yeah, yeah, everything yeah, is ruined. You know, well, you know, while you find, while you do your thing, Ambrose, how has your week been? How has life been? I know that uh, you woke up with a very nice development. There! Oh, yeah, I think I think I'm coming down with a cold, but I downed some Dayquil. I'm I'm doing okay right now. <laughs> it's probably a very limited situation. <laughs> Slowly as... throughout the podcast, we see the color leave Anderson's face, and he's just sinking lower and lower into the ground. <laughs> exactly. That's when I needed drink. Just I got get it like a you know two liter of just Dayquil and just look at it the whole time. This is an excellent plan. <laughs> popping popping Nyquil pills like candy, being like, oh no, they're they're Tic Tacs, guys. Very big Tic Tacs. They're but delicious. How, yeah, but how has life recently been? What have you been up to since the last time you've been here? Honestly, not a whole lot different. I'm just working <laughs> and work. Just my commission work is pretty much taking over my entire life. But I am on a I am on a epic quest to completely catch up on all of my commissions by the end of the year. So this month has been basically nothing but work just 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 grinding away at that and so far so good i've got i've have like okay like for the record it, <laughs> for the record it's the 16th and i have about 30 commissions so that's it i'm probably not gonna actually make it but yeah we'll get close you'll and get a so, sizable chunk done because I, I know get... i know your backlog from a couple months ago you've been chopping it down so yes i have i definitely have i've so, just gotten i've gotten serious about it. so so far so good I, I probably won't finish by the end of the year but when january rolls around i'll have like less than 10 and like i'll so get that done in a week. i take it yeah. the smash bros ultimate pin-up pack will take a while um i yes i will probably be doing that in small chunks like i actually already started on the first one <laughs> and i will be doing it a little at a time <laughs> well what what's so funny <laughs> I know about your Smash Brothers pack, and I'm holding back the power I have through social media to be like, okay, everyone, vote for Daisy. Vote for the best <laughs> character. Vote for Wait, Daisy. Wait, is, isn't isn't every gal going in uh, in there? Every gal is going in. He doesn't want to do Daisy. Daisy <laughs> is his least favorite, and I want to and I want to like, make him draw her. Like completely <laughs> skip her. No, no, not completely uh, skip, just probably do her last. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it basically it comes down to how many contributions I get to the project. Because I can, obviously, I can only justify how much I draw based on how much people are, are willing to, to throw money at me. Um, so if if I get, you know, enough money, I will draw everyone. But so far, it's basically con contribute and vote for who you want, and that's how it'll so, do, man. So, so, um, so I hate I hate to break it to you, but Daisy has gotten a goose egg so far in contributions. Don't uh, blame. I vote. To, to be fair, I voted for Samus because Samus is best girl. But <laughs> so, um, where, uh, uh, where do people have to go in order to 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 contribute, to vote, to pre-order? Yeah, to put it in the Google Doc so we can put it in your description. Let me. I have it somewhere here. So, uh, if I if I pay you like just. If I if for some reason you just see a hundred dollars in your PayPal, will you draw Kirby in a bikini? <laughs> that would be the easiest hundred bucks you've ever made. To I'd be rather, fair. to be fair, but I would rather draw another dab. <laughs> Kirby's arms are too short to dab. Also, <laughs> why did your dab business never take off? 
what, yeah, what yeah, the yeah, idea yeah, to you use this? And... A, you should make it get a, your character here. Yeah. And just be like, look, look, guys. Exactly. Oh so e e everybody, go to this guy. Uh, uh, Pre-order Smash Brothers. Vote on Smash Brothers. Order your debts from him. Uh... Order, order, order everything from him. But you'll probably have to wait because public commissions are closed. But either way, if that's what's been going on in your life, Max, you and your velvet. Right, oh, just, what? I just, I just gave you the link. There we ah, go. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. There but, it is. So. Uh, but yeah, Max and your velvety pipes, as we've heard during the pre-show. Oh, yeah. What's been going on in your life? Um, I mean, my I, I, I'm not 100% sure if it is the source of it, but it might be the source of it. Uh, on Friday, we, we had a Christmas party at the office, um, mm -hmm. which, which went through the usual uh, get-together on the terrace with uh, mulled wine and beer, then a big dinner, which was nice. We have, uh, I believe I talked about the new floor we have uh, at the office which also is a lot more open so for in, in the past we had like two long banquet holes squeezed into a place that was actually not fitting for it this year in the new space it's longer and wider so we had and we are less employees so we had one <laughs> you know anything seems longer and wider when you have less people in it <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a very weird innuendo and or description for uh, 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 and not say for work fiction. Uh, nevertheless, um, uh, uh, but yeah, we had one one we don't didn't needed to have two next to each other squeezed in, but we had one long one and everybody was sitting on it. And then we obviously got uh, the the speech from the CEO, which went for like half an hour. Um, but like, like first 20 minutes him and then our founder did another 10 minutes and in the beginning it was like, okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's... Maybe I should mention that our CEO is uh, American or, or a new CEO who, recently, who, who joined us a year ago and he's American and he, while our old one, the founder, had a very emotional and family approach, he is, our new one is just corporate. He, he, it, it Christmas speech based on numbers and and this one went three percent up and the biggest one over here and so basically was. nickname Scrooge yeah but I mean no he he is charismatic but after twenty mm. minutes of empty numbers thrown at you you are like <laughs> oh and I have one more oh please stop it <laughs> if I wanted to be bored by people talking I would have gone to church especially. <laughs> Fair point. Especially well, shots fired. <laughs> since, since we all had already an hour of drinking, so we were all tipsy and waiting for food to counter the alcohol in our system. So this was, in general, not oh, the best planning. Oh, that's but yeah, awful. But yeah, then we had, of course, the one decision that comes, that it always is the, the one deciding factor uh, how I leave the party or when I leave the party. Uh, the question is usually like, am I out like, at 10 or whenever uh, modesty allow or, or, or politeness allows it to secretly disappear alongside the parents who need to go to their small children or something, or if I stay until late at night? Well, the answer is yes, we had a karaoke machine. Uh, <laughs> Solves everything. And you have no, you don't know however, how to save your voice from singing. Th I swear. However, however, that's the thing. I recall that last year or something, I was in this karaoke room until 3 a.m. and then my voice was obviously destroyed. I, I didn't even notice that there was dancing in the meantime and one co-worker co-worker disappeared with another one to the bathroom for a while. Everything missed. I was just in this room for four hours last year. This year, third song and my voice was gone. I overdid it. Within three songs, I overdid it completely. What songs did you do? Uh, Halfway There, uh, My Way. <laughs> I forgot the third one, but... <laughs> First of all, the song's not called Halfway There. It's Living, Living on, on a, a Prayer. 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 <laughs> oh, my... Look, the Ban Jovi, the Ban Jovi fan in me is shaming you right now. The Ban <laughs> right, Jovi fan. Oh my God! Don't, 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 I love, know? I love, I love Ban, I love Ban Jovi. It's like I love, I love Robert Saget and the and the and the Gold Knife Group. Like, what the 
Well, no. and lead Zeppelin. <laughs> and lead Zeppelin. I mean, lead Blimp. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I know Ben Jovi's song halfway there, so. <laughs> yeah, see, Living on a Player was a Bon Jovi song. Halfway there was a Ban Jovi song. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, now I need to just. During the post show, we just need to come up with songs from d- knockoff band. No, Ban Jovi sounds a, like a really bad tribute. Band. Especially uh, <laughs> then again, the, in Chet, the, I, I I heard it as Ben Jovi, like B E N Jovi, but no, Chet turned it into Ben Jovi, like the Ben Jovi. Lo- oh, you you remember that classic game, Ban Jovi and Kazooie? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I. I, I ne- I never finished. Uh, the thing is, I never finished the game. I only uh, only made it halfway there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so you did karaoke and destroyed your voice. Within three songs, I still st- I still continued singing for two more hours. The last one was really like, uh, 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 was um, I, I I had my one, last one I wanted to have, which nobody will know because it's a German one. Uh, um, Christina Stürmer with uh, Du Bist. And ah. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just k- squeezing out there the last voices. And after that, I danced for a little bit and I was like, okay, there's a, there's an underground a subway coming. I'm out. Um, you, went from, you went from Sinatra and Ban Jovi to fucking uh, <laughs> Izzy Isborn. Izzy Isborn. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard the thing uh, psychotic? Oh, <laughs> oh, you mean the voice? <laughs> yeah. Mm. But yeah, I, uh, at some point, at some point, somebody even put on Ramstein, and I could not hold back singing. So. I mean, it's this Ramstein, is also so. this is also uh, not a good one for the. Uh, it's really a good one for the chords. But yeah, here's the thing. I woke up Saturday morning and I felt it, but I gave myself a, a, a liter of tea and everything was fine. And uh, I, I could even, I, I, I had not even any issues in the evening anymore. I had no issues today and just uh, half an hour before the pre-show, it suddenly started to creep into my <laughs> And I'm like, yeah. I mean, keep 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 and can confirm when we started the call. I was like super grumpy because my voice just started fading. Like like oh, yeah, no. like like me, the one who ran, who's running on three hours of sleep, was why mm-hmm. well wh- wh- uh, was like, hey, how you doing? And he's like, hi. <laughs> I'm like, you sound enthusiastic. Yeah, totally. And I'm like, you could just hear he was either really not happy to be around me, or his voice was giving out. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah. So so yeah, uh, that was your Friday. Exactly. Or... But yeah, that, that, that was my theory. At least that, that my theory is that I took off the scarf when I, I was wearing a scarf yesterday the entire day and today because it's winter. I took off the scarf when I uh, dressed for the show. So maybe you, that you, is actually you lost the minus four armor. Like yeah, if... pretty much. The the scarf <laughs> of magical. Not having cold control. resistance. Yeah, of course. Cold, cold resistance. Cold. Bam, bam. It's a you have, you have, you remember, you're a male. You, your armor has to get bulkier and bulkier to do the buffs. It's That's not like true. female armor where it's oh, less. Ah, ah. <laughs> Plus seven charisma. Oh. <laughs> uh, forget uh, it helps you dodge better. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. No, uh, uh, but yeah, uh, th- those were basically my highlights. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Who is going to talk about Spider Verse? Because Amber saw us as well, and I'm not sure if he has an alternative media. Because I have an alternative media, so I guess I leave it. But yeah, yesterday I saw the Spider Verse. Uh, we will talk about it uh, in a bit. But to say one thing, I'm so hyped! I'm so hyped to see it. Go see mm-hmm. it. I- yeah, yes. I mean, stop I this! Can, stop I... this! St- stop watching this podcast. Get your cinema <laughs> ticket and go watch Into the Spider Verse. <laughs> it is the best Spider-Man movie. Yes, ever. By production much. value alone, that I can comment on. But um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, my week. Uh, also, yeah, one final thing I wanted to to share with class. It yeah. uh, actually it's a little bit cheating because I made it the week before last week. But yeah. Something because last episode of the year was a little bit of a look back to the year. Because we had a good year 2018. It, can That's I, all our this guests. Is, yes, this is actually Yay. all the guests we had. I mean, here's even Ambrose there. It, Hi. 
it was quite a fun thing to, to, to make because I started out with characters being like three characters big up here in the corner and I'm like, oh god, so much empty space, oh, this all looks ugly. And then I, I put... just like snob peeking out the back in the top <clears throat> left corner. He just looks like he's like, hey, I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Snob, Brad. Oh, yeah, like yeah, peeking, yeah. He's like peeking from fucking the bunny and Kichi's hair. Oh, yeah. It's like, he, looks, he doesn't look creepy at all, uh, as, as Brad <laughs> is. But yeah, we, we we had actually a full year. I mean, we had a few recurring guests, but at the end of the day, I had I had issues squeezing everybody in here. So yeah. yeah. But yeah, please, I, uh, 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 your week. Yeah, no, I was going to say, when he sent me this po- po- uh, picture after uh, last week's podcast, I got a little sentimental. I was like... <laughs> Because you don't realize it until it's put right in front of you how many fucking people we got on this year. It's like, holy, holy shit. Well done. <laughs> I know, right? Anyway, enough enough jerking off ourselves. Uh, my week. Um, yeah, I was dying. <laughs> Another positive story from, from Christine Bucola. But uh, <laughs> yeah, Tuesday evening, I was just like, huh, I don't feel that good. Eh, I'm sure it's nothing. Wednesday. Mr. Oh. Brad, Mr. Golden Fox, I don't feel so good. I'd rather be disagreed <laughs> with how I felt. I woke up and I was like, oh, oh, this ain't good. And, and I had like a 102 fever and I was like oh. feeling like shit. But uh, my throat wasn't hurting. So I was like, this is weird because every sickness I get, my throat just goes away and I don't have a voice. Max can attest he's heard me sick. I sound like a gremlin. <laughs> there was something. I, I saw you yeah, squeak frame, squeak frame. Oh squeak yeah, frame. I, 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 I recall <laughs> uh, 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 squeak frame. Yeah, but like, uh, right, right. But uh, and but I was like, okay, that's fine. I played some hots with friends on Wednesday, as you do, and then at, and it was like, yay, I had fun. As soon as I stood up after the game, I was like, oof. Oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> so Thursday, I was completely bred. I was bedridden for three days. <laughs> and on Saturday, no, what was it Saturday? It was Friday. No, it was Friday. Um, I, comp- I was sleeping the entire day. I mean, I didn't have anyone to talk to. Someone was at a Christmas party. Lauren was at a Christmas party for her job. Everyone was at Christmas parties. So I just hibernated. And the thing was, me and Brett were supposed to go see Spider-Verse that day. Someone went to go see Spider Verse that day. Oh no! I was I was asleep, and when I woke up, he was just coming back in. Like I get, I think he was coming. I think he came back like ten minutes before. But I was in bed. I didn't know he was not home. He sits in the living room most of the day because that's where his computer is. And I was like, Hey, where were you? Oh, I went to go see Into the Spider Verse with Riley. Well, there have been divorces ah! over uh, um, the smaller issues. I'm not issues. married. <laughs> I'm not married and never will be. But... So that would be as close to a divorce as it could be for you. Okay, not seeing a movie with me is not a reason for a break. We are not talking a movie. We are talking into the Spider-Verse. But he was just like, I was like, he was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it was so good, though. And I'm like, <laughs> I have no energy to be mad. <laughs> but I, And I asked him, was there that clone high Easter egg in the back? It wasn't fake. And he's like, oh, yeah, that was really there. Fine, I'm satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> That's also not a spoiler. It, it has nothing to do with Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but then, Saturday, the clouds parted. <laughs> I think it was, it was like, oh, my child... You had you didn't get to go see into the Spider Verse, and you've been bedridden for three days. Your cosmic punishment is over, and my fever broke, and I was like, <gasps> "Is it really gone?" And then I took a shower and hocked up something awful, but I think it was the demon that was inside of my body, and I was perfectly <laughs> fine. And yesterday, I was able to work and do stuff. I started work on the newest uh, for our 2019 Awkward cast art, which I'm excited to show when it gets done. It's still only in a sketch. 
But uh, so yeah, and I got tune to do... in next year. Don't oh, miss yeah. it. Don't miss next I, year. I just realized the other thing that happened this week. <clears throat> oh boy! I released content. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag oh my content. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> I know. I released my cover of "I'm the Bad Guy," which would have been out earlier. But uh, After Effects kept crashing because there's like three particle effects in it, and oh. After Effects is the most bitchy program but to work with. Didn't EA the, Games give you this editing monster computer? Yeah, but here's the thing: no matter if you have a powerhouse or not, After Effects takes up so much CPU if you're using particle effects. So, which is the effect that I use to make my character look like it's glowing and all that stuff, which. Whatever, fine. But like, uh, but it crashed like three times. But I did it, and it's out, and I'm happy. And now I have another video to release, and I'm just kind of slowly pushing for people to be like, "Hey guys, look, I'm also a human." <laughs> Get used to it, friends. Though <laughs> one of the comments on my bad guy video was. I would have rather liked to see your pony wearing Lord Dominator's outfit. Oof. That was one of the first comments, and I just was sitting there like... Oh, loud. Ah, loud. We don't need to play it. We don't need to play it. We don't need to play it. <laughs> uh, but, I want, but I want to see the particle effects. No, okay, it's technically not it's, a particle effect. But yeah, just the, mute the it. the ones at the bottom, right? Okay, okay. Well, no, there's there's two, there's two, three effects. Okay. So there's the audio... There's oh, the, the, audio the eyes are glowing. Yeah, I see. Yeah, there's an audio spectrum, and then I have an amorphous lighting uh, animation that goes across the entire body. So it gives the impression that there's glow, there's a moving light as if she's surrounded by lava. Oh, but and then very, yeah. And then very mm -hmm. subtly in the background, there is a starscape particle effect in the background, but it's at a really low opacity. But mm -hmm. it just adds that... I want quality. I am a visual <laughs> artist who just happens to sing. So, of course, I'm going to care about visuals for a damn song cover. <laughs> but yeah, that's been my week. Okay. I really should be a story time animator. I can make the mundane sound so entertaining. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah. I, yeah, so I want to find the pony comment and shame the person. I, I, I mean, you could see my very subtle reply. That was the most polite reply I could make. So, it, I probably should have ah, just ordered by time. It, it's one of the first ones. Whoop. Should be one. Key oh. release. Oh, thanks, Master Code. Key release content. Irma Gerd, run. <laughs> I know. The clouds are parting. I mean, similar oh, yeah. to what Ambrose is doing, I'm trying to. I actually. I am the ultimate nerd. I I made I found a to do list app website and I'm putting my stuff on there. So I <laughs> like I gotta I gotta carpet compartmentalize and economize everything, which I've been better since this year. I've just become a project manager for a bunch of stuff. So it's like now okay, I'm good at managing other people. Now I need to manage m myself. <laughs> how how do? <laughs> how, how do I am literally Pearl from Steven Universe. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, uh, that was my week. But I have a request. I request to be the last one to have a media because my media supersedes everyone's Ooh. media. And I would say is the best media that's ever been on Awkward Cast. Well, stay and tuned I mean for this. this Stay tuned I mean for this, this epic fail. Full sincerity, but Max, let's start with your alternative media because I feel like we'll be talking about Spider Verse for quite a little bit. <laughs> oh, I, I was going to talk. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. That's the point. You go yeah, Spider Verse, he has, so he I. Yeah, it's a different media, but Spider Verse is something we can all talk about. Oh, so... okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, so, yes. so yeah, my media because uh, uh, since Ambrose tweeted about Spider Verse before me, I was like. Shit, I still want to see it, and I will see it. I don't have enough time to squeeze in a second movie this weekend. However, isn't there this channel I have been binge-watching over the last few days? So anybody who follows my alternative Twitter, wink, wink, notch, notch. Shameless plugs. Th then again, it's not really a plug. For everybody who has been missing all my Tumblr uh, posts and uh, I like video X 
uh, uh, um, automatically generated messages they are new now to a new Twitter account so that you guys don't get bothered by it. So did, did you did you guys miss all those Tumblr yeah. reposts that Should they have you? where the boobs kept oh, showing? Oh god damn it! I, <laughs> I'm not missing Twitter. those. Yeah, so there's a second Twitter. It's uh, pinned on my uh, main Twitter at the moment, so it should be easy enough to find. But yeah. Um, no, uh, for people who already follow me there, you probably can guess what it is because it's, what's his name? Frederick Knudsen. This name doesn't sound English at all. Um, probably not. No, but he, he sounds, he sounds, I cannot hear any accent when he talks. Well, okay. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's probably, yeah, but it's probably like, it's like Krakinski. There's Krakinskis in America, but the, their heritage is ain't, ain't uh, uh, mm. American. That, that could very much be. No, um, story behind this, first of all, a big thank you to uh, Gray Silvermane. Uh, it was be because it was actually him treating uh, somebody. Can I go to Tumblr? Somebody was like, uh, Tumblr post like, I started, I start to collect uh, recommended videos on YouTube that I will never ever watch. And oh, uh, this, yeah, I know that. I know that post. Yeah, and the, wait, and the, down the, this is the guy from Down the Rabbit Hole, yes, right? Yes, this is Down the Rabbit okay. Hole. Okay, okay, the thing I never associated a name. I just know the name of the oh, series. Yeah, but but that's why I have the Twitter because he has a big bunny. Because if I go here, you just see all. The I know, videos. I know, but it fin it finally clicked because then yes. I also saw the Tumblr post and I was like, oh, it all works. Yes, <laughs> yes, and the thing is, the Tumblr post and the Tumblr post ended with this this very screenshot here. And he was like, yeah, I, f I would want to watch the first ones I posted before that. And Grey Silvermane, who I follow, and therefore I saw it, reblocked it and was like, okay, in all honesty, this guy's videos, the Down in the Rabbit Hole videos are pretty good. Check them out. Check out uh, this and this and this. They, the, those are specifically good. Uh, and yeah, I checked out this one and the ones that Grey recommended. And as you can see by those red bars under all the videos, I binged this entire channel. They're really <laughs> good. I, yes. I, they're, it's the, the one thing that when Aeon of Dreams plays in the in the living room, I don't mind hearing it yeah, because yeah. I really like Down the Rabbit Hole. Yeah, and, and since I didn't discover it right away, there is also his secondary, cha secondary channel, which is called the, uh, Frederick Knutz and the other channel, where he has a few more longer videos, like the entire story of Mother Horse Eyes, which I still need to listen to. Uh, and other just insanely long stuff. So for those who want more uh, of it, but yeah, um, you were going to yeah. say something, Ambrose? Yes. Oh, well, just ju just that it's it's weird because I actually discovered this channel just like last week myself. Someone someone else was linking it to me, uh -huh. and I'm like, oh, that sounds interesting. And I, and I think I watched um I watched his video on furries because of course I would. Um, I was really. <laughs> Fun fact, I had his furry video in my watch later list for probably four months because that's when it came out. I had this in my list, but I never came around watching it because I was like, oh, it sounds interesting, maybe I'll watch it one day. Uh, I, think, I think I discovered him because he has the most comprehensive video about the whole Spoonie Antweiler, oh, yeah. si Noah Antweiler also, situation. Also and, I, and I was looking up stuff about that, and his video is probably the most comprehensive that doesn't go into the super like biased territory. Mm -hmm. I mean, not that people aren't justified in their bias against Noah, but he's the most level-headed one that I found. This is actually a fun thing because in his mistake, in one of his mistake videos, he actually was like, um, yeah, uh, uh, where he goes through all his recent videos and is like, hey, where did I screw something up information wise or where was I unsatisfied with what I did? And he actually explained, yeah, that his intentional approach is to stay com as neutral as humanly possible and he apologized for one slip where he actually used a judge judgmental explanation for something uh, uh yeah he described that somebody i believe yeah this guy that this guy got swatted mm -hmm. so for everybody who does not know this means calling the police and uh, hoping that while he's live streaming hoping that this live streamer gets at least scared if not even shot by police on stream they storm, uh -huh. your, they, they storm your house and this is fun all that. just to clarify right away swatting is illegal so don't do it fuckheads uh, but yeah he in his uh, approach to be completely neutral he described it as yeah he, somebody did the questionable thing of uh, so, so this kind of loaded questionable adjective in the ex he apologized for it because even that broke his rule his self applied rule of staying as 
neutral as possible. And this is actually pretty important for his content because uh, I would describe his content as, I mean, down the rabbit hole. What he does is he picks up either personalities or historical events or strange phenomenons on the internet that you can only describe as obscure, obscure. And that obscure. Obscure. Obscure, and the, <laughs> obscure and also very curious um, uh, and often enough have at least a, a, a foot into dark territory or end up in rather dark and disturbing territory. I mean, he's basically doing documentation on real life creepypasta. I mean, the Chris Chan one gets disturbing. <laughs> Does it really? Yeah. Oh. It gets disturbing and really sad. Oh, that is... I, I guess I, I'm curious because I mean I've always I've heard about Chris Chan and the whole Sonic Two thing, but I always thought, well, okay, he's just just some effervescent um, um, <clears throat> enthusiast an enthusiast for his creative you know stuff that you know is always a little. But I guess there's there's a lot more to it than I don't know about. Oh yeah, uh, let let's just say uh, t he was at too many games this year, and uh, the police had to come. That was fun. Okay. That, that, that was a fun time. But yeah, you would recommend Down the Rabbit Hole? Yes, or, or ab ab absolutely. Uh, however, uh, with a little bit of uh, disclaimer or red flags or whatever, that, uh, yeah, as I just said, he picks up topics that often enough go into a little bit of a disturbing uh, direction. It's you, you don't watch his videos and come out with, ha, ah, this was wholesome. You usually come out with, wow, what a fucked up shit exists. And... I dare to say, I mean, obviously I cannot say, but for the few stories where I actually, I should really, probably should point in this direction. There's my screen, but here's the here's the display for people. I should I should just Over mirror here. myself. <laughs> exactly. I should just mirror myself. No, um, because when you mirror yourself, you're gonna start doing it the other direction by accident. <laughs> probably knowing myself, yes. Um, no, but uh, for, for the few stories where I actually had a little bit of my own knowledge to compare it to. Um, I can say, yeah, uh, I, his stories seem to be well-researched and real. He, he, he is not making stuff up. Shane Dawson! And uh, uh, he is actually trying to present a neutral uh, perspective. He just picks up those very curious things. I mean, look at stuff. He, he tries to explain the history of the, 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 the Plague Doctors, uh, but then uh, also talking about anime, which I was not aware has actually history in occupation after World War II by the Americans, who destroyed uh, a media landscape in Japan. I was not aware of that, but yeah, even those topics, he has, he actually digs up the, the disturbing and dark stuff. Or yeah, or like Chris John, just really, really sad human beings who he describes in uh, as much as uh, is, is known about them, which brings us to the point, yeah, there is... Uh, it's a certain level of voyeurism that that goes into watching it. I, I will have to admit mm. this about myself. Um, once again, his neutral presentation helps. He doesn't do this kind of yellow press, what? headliner, um, a clickbait title bullshit, um, which which is probably the, the, the thing I need to accept that I'm actually watching this and I'm pretty much digging this shit. <laughs> Um, yeah, but yeah, no happy fun time. If you have a curiosity for the obscure, uh, check it out for sure. Um, not sure where to start. If one of the topics sounds familiar to you, maybe pick that up first. Um, I don't know. Wh wh which ones would you guys recommend since you're all familiar uh, with it? My, my personal pick would probably be the Spoonie one. Okay. I mean, as, 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 I guess especially when you know a little bit about him or have heard his name before this might yeah, it's, be very it, interesting. Yeah, but it's, it's a good, it's a good, to me it's the perfect, like, getting your feet wet when with one, it's about a real person, and two, it, it's not too, like, depressing of a topic, but it still shows the general tone of, yeah, you're not going to come yeah. out of these videos exactly feeling good. Yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, the, the the Final Fantasy house. This was really disturbing, so, which I like. So if you want to get a uh, dive into the deep end, maybe go for um, uh, uh, this one because I mean, there's a reason one of the related channels for this is uh, Nightmind. There, there's a reason. <laughs> uh, but yeah, good shit. Check it out. Link below.
Yay! I watched the fur. Like I said, I watched the furry one, and that one because that's what I'm familiar with, and you know, it definitely goes into some dark stuff, but probably not as dark as some other things. I mean, <coughs> yeah. Me. I mean, but, but it was. I guess for me, because I've been, I've had, I've been, you know, uh, uh, you know, ankles deep in the furry fandom for at least ankles deep forever. It's pretty much okay. None of this, none of this stuff is new to me. I, you know, even if not these specific events are are, are new to me, I know this kind of thing has always been around. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but, but yeah, also maybe not really spoilers, but furries have been perverts from the very beginning. Is that really a surprise to anyone? That's kind I, of my point. It, That's no, exactly what. Yeah, I'm... But, yeah, but but the thing is, I I I am one of those furries who always is like, no, it's just about the love for um, uh, anthropomorphism while secretly enjoying the perverted side myself. But no, actually, it's completely rooted in the perverted shit. Secretly. <laughs> secretly. The worst kept worst kept secret of the of, yeah. of the world. Uh, also, to answer Derek, uh, the the hiatus isn't long. It's just cri this week upcoming weekend because Christmas, and then the next weekend because after that is New Year's, and people want to go see families and yeah. don't want to worry about scheduling guests for a podcast during the fucking holidays. So <laughs> say, uh, if, this, if this, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, but, yeah. but yeah, first January, uh, first Sunday in January, so this would be January the 2nd, we are probably back already. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna be oh, wait, no. back on, back on track. Sorry, I'm but, lying, the 6th, it's the 6th, January the 6th. Well, it's the, the first weekend in January. Exactly. But yeah, so what were you gonna say, Ambrose? Oh, just, just, you know, if this is the, the last episode of this, this year, this makes this the Christmas episode, does this mean we have to go save Christmas or something? Yes, yes, we are it's saving cr Christmas by casually talking about our week. No, no, no. You, no, 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 no. We need to go and save Christmas. We got like wait, Santa's probably wait, having wait, a problem. It's crisis Christmas. If, if this is the Christmas cast, I'm getting the sweater. Hold oh. on. <laughs> I'm not getting the sweater. Am I getting the sweater? I could get the sweater. Amber, should Hold I on. get the sweater? I don't know. You will I don't not, have a. You, you, you have a sweater. So. You, will, you will not like the sweater. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, then maybe you should get it. <laughs> <laughs> you entertain the people. Oh, I feel great. I am jolly as fuck. I like that. That's a great sweater. <laughs> Thank you, Spencer. This is the, one of the best purchases I've ever made. I wonder, where did I, where's the button on this thing? Because this thing lights up. Oh. It lights up. <laughs> And I'm trying to find the button. I see the battery pack, but I can't find the button. Oh, there it is! Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> hey! Oh. God, of it's course, time every to time. Make Christmas great again! If it makes you feel better, Amber, uh, his friend got one with Angela Merkel on it, so uh, this, this <laughs> no was... one won in this situation. Nope, this was basically. Christmas party last year, upcoming at the company, and Yuri was like, hey, let's get super ugly Christmas sweaters. I'm like, yeah, yeah sure. Hey, I found those two ones of Angela Merkel and Donald Trump. He said, you're not going to get those, are you? Bye. Shit. <laughs> mine is still better because mine lights up. <laughs> That's amazing. That's hey, amazing. hey, this represents my Christmas spirit in a nutshell. But, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> I guess we should move on to Ambrose with the m big elephant in the room of media. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. Bum, bum, bum. Excelsior! I'm do, I'm do, I'm do, no, I'm doing a, a Wild Cherry Pepsi sponsorship. I love ah. the taste of the fresh, crisp taste of notch. What, what about Sprite Cranberry? But no, uh, <laughs> but yes, Into the Spider Verse. Ambrose, what is your thoughts on this movie? Phenomenal. Absolutely freaking phenomenal. Best Spider-Man movie ever made. Hands down. Fight me. You know. <laughs> 1v1, final destination, no items. <laughs> it is phenomenally um um it's like Just So for one thing for one if, thing if you go spoilers, give me a heads up so I can make yeah, the yeah, spoilers. I, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna stay away from spoil. I'm gonna talk mm -hmm. very generally at least okay. up here at first. And I'm gonna you know, so um <laughs> um um Basically, like, so first of all, the fact that it is a Marvel property not made by Marvel Studios is incredibly, 
breath of fresh air. Like, I love the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but the fact is a lot of their movies are starting to feel kind of the same. Infinity mm-hmm. War sort of mixed up the formula, and we'll see what Phase 4 does. But here we have a Marvel property made by Sony, and it just feels completely different from anything else um, that Marvel has done. It feels completely different from the previous Spider-Man movies, any of them. It is it is the most visually creative, ambitious, uh, uh, just out there project i have ever seen the it, it is not afraid of embracing like the comic book origins of of these characters the movie looks like an animated comic book half the time and it is it, like the way it does that is so it doesn't feel forced or or inorganic at all it is just if, if you're artistically inclined i probably if, excuse me if you're artistically inclined i probably don't need to tell you to go watch the movie you've probably seen the trailers and thought like man that shit looks good exactly but you know, I will say that for as as an artist, the whole movie is a delight. Um, um, I've you know, for, I feel like from a writing perspective, I feel like it's a pretty good a uh, 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 pretty good narrative as well. For you know, a lot of times, I'm I'm less qualified to talk about that, but I do think that it manages to do everything it sets out to do with character arcs and uh, uh, you know narrative themes and tie it all together in a nice little you know pretty bow that you know doesn't you know and which is really impressive considering all the disparate elements that it brings in all at once um to this kind of just crazy out there plot line it, it's it's just amazing that you know they've they've sony has kind of dropped the ball on multiple spider-man movies over the last uh, uh so many years and when they finally did this it's it this is a passion project it is a movie that you can tell that everybody who's worked on it has absolutely you know put their all into making it and and you know this is nothing it's you know you know what i'm trying to say like like oh yeah tell when a movie has like a corporate vibe to it like okay we're gonna make this and we want to appeal to x demographic Mm -hmm. for this reasons and while this movie definitely you know you would imagine it would be specifically made to appeal to certain demographics i think there it has enough universal appeal while still never sacrificing a true artistic vision. It, it, it was made by people who are obviously fans of not just main timeline Peter Parker, but the Spider Verse in general. It's yes, not exactly. like, yeah, it's not like they went in being like, oh, I have no idea who Ma- Miles Morales is, but he's a person of color, so let's make him <laughs> yes. the main character. Oh yeah, yes, it 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 really does just. These are made by people who are in love with this franchise, who were in love with making this movie the best possible movie it could be. And it, it is just the whole the, every scene is just perfectly uh, uh, you know, illustrated. The the I want to say what I meant to say is like if you take a screenshot from any point in the movie, it looks like a composition all on its own. It is just I cannot recommend this enough and the big reason i want like i want to tell people to go watch it is because i'm I'm a little cynical and i'm afraid that i feel like i always feel like good a lot of good movies don't get the attention they deserve especially if they're kind of off the mainstream a little bit this this is not an mcu movie mcu movie so it's a little bit off the mainstream and you know i'm afraid that it won't get like the attention and money it deserves you know i want this movie a best movie 2018 absolutely go see it Yesterday, you know. yesterday, 8 p.m. screening, English, 3D, in Germany, full. Theater was pretty full. So, it gets attention. It gets the attention, Ambrose. According well, to, uh, oh. uh, yeah, according to Brett, uh, the feeder was completely full when nice. he went to go see it, nice. too, which I'm so happy about. Fantastic. I, I went and saw it on a Friday morning because I don't like super i don't like super dense crowds so i I avoided them and it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't super dense in there excuse me it wasn't super dense in there um but there were definitely people so that's good um so so i was i couldn't quite tell but i just i I, god i hope this movie it deserves best movie 2018 it really does um yeah yeah i I, I, I couldn't come up with a competitor right away so uh I'm always skeptical when I hear something like this, but I'm I actually so right off the top of my head I would be like, Yeah. Yeah. It's ta- <laughs> and the thing is twenty eighteen's been really good with animated films, like but I would say, yeah, this this movie kinda takes the cake because it's not afraid to take risks. And I'm talking from production value alone. Mm-hmm. But from what I've heard it, uh, it takes risks with the stories and characters and how they handle them. But 
I want people to go see this movie just because I want a rise in people doing non-standard animation. Yes, because you, this. you you got you got to admit every CG animated movie has started to look the same. Exactly. And that's what I, that was one thing I I thank you for reminding me because that, that, that's pretty much what the point I wanted to bring in is that it does CG like so many CGI movies are just we're going to do a cheaper animated movie. It's cheaper than hand drawn, but we're going to make it you know, have this sort of generic cartoon 3D look. But Into the Spider-Verse it does things with CGI that you can only do with CGI. Like trying to recreate this in 2D animation would be absurdly impractical. Um, it just so so it actually makes the medium the 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 makes the medium special and unique again. It makes it not just a time saving alternative. It makes it a a truly original composition. Ju- you know, taking advantage of every aspect of the media that it's working in, and that is so refreshing. I cannot tell you how so refreshing it is because, you know, as you said, all they all look start. A lot of CGI movies all start to look the same. Yeah, it's- the last time. Yeah, the last time I felt that something was actually ambitious in how they ha- used the animation medium that you couldn't recreate in two D was the inside out characters because if you actually look at the inside out characters, they're all created out of single particles. They're not one solid mass. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you couldn't do that in in 2D. That would be like hell. <laughs> that movie would be made in 20 years. But yeah, so yeah, maybe as a non-artistic person in this call, uh, yes, <laughs> uh, I I can also say like it was within the first few minutes before the movie even started and the actual action started. Just uh, what they threw at you with the logos alone uh, was like. Uh, uh, pretty much a, a visual um i don't know visual orgasm uh it was pretty colorful quickly moving a lot of flickering so may, may, maybe there should be a um yeah maybe there should be an epilepsy warning i have no idea since i don't have epilepsy i think i, I think have. every i think every movie has a default epilepsy warning um you know some might be more so than uh, others but... No, but uh pre warning to people who, yeah no uh, i was gonna say pre oh sorry go ahead but 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 yeah in general pretty amazing intense colors and visuals like uh, but not in a overwhelming way unless maybe for epileptic people i don't know but but for <laughs> in general i would say not overwhelming while intense and colorful and a lot going on there and and uh, yeah and ironically despite the, the this 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 uh uh, uh this is this framey style. This this the the frame rate is not animated yeah, exactly. on ones the, where it's completely flowing. It's animated on twos. Yeah, this, yeah, despite being animated on twos, it still feels super fluent in the animation. Which is well, to come back to your comparison, you somebody threw a you key from earlier. In Dragon Prince, you have those very smooth animations, and then suddenly the frame rate drop. The characters stop suddenly stop moving, like rock bad and here it is like you feel you it's a style it's mm-hmm. very clearly a style and this comes through and um yeah to to say a little, a little bit about the writing without actually spoiling anything where i'm super impressed with this movie is it should not work they, mm-hmm. they it should not work they throw in absolutely bonkers elements in there where deadpool uh, would be ashamed of like like stuff is happening in this movie where you are like, this is this is this should break it should any immersion. Co- it, it, yeah, it should be a chaotic mess. It yes, should be, but and it yeah, it's isn't. so it's so it has such a frenetic pace that it never gets dragged yeah. down by its own chaos, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, and there is a consistent narrative through line that just takes the whole thing. Yeah. It just it and it, it just. Yeah, and, and 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 while being outright loony at times, like like com like bonkers. Uh, I mean, one of the main characters still, is Spider Ham. So, but, but still, um, <laughs> despite that, it still manages to be a, a, a serious movie overall. It's it's it, it's a very funny one. It has a lot of humor in it, but it's a serious movie. There there have been the moments where it's like, <gasps> oh. oh. Like, 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 feels. really, like, feels. yeah, feels. There have been feels in the movie. They have, I, I recall that there, I cannot recall which moment it was, but I recall there was one moment where, first of all, silence in the entire room. 
I, I, I was eating popcorn and I stopped like, I, I cannot eat popcorn now. It's too quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and it was intense. So Ooh. there were intense <laughs> moments in this movie. And once just, again, just the moment of heartfelt, you know, trauma. And then suddenly in the background, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be that guy. <laughs> Someone opens a Sprite bottle that they, that they snuck into the theater. It's like... <laughs> Uh, someone's uh, phone goes off and then everyone in the theater just turns and sees them just like but, just de- uh, you know death glare <laughs> but yeah don't just go watching it for it being a, a, a break from the norm which is already reason enough but it's also actually really good yes yeah. it is it is phenomenally good my Cannot one lie. disclaimer to people and I know people are going to hate it because people have a stigma against 3D movies, the directors have stated that the movie is meant to be watched in cinema in 3D, and I've heard people say when they went to go see the 2D showing, it still looked good, but there were a couple scenes that were a bit more blurry than what they would be in the 3D, because the movie is optimized for 3D, which is totally fair given how it looks. So I know the ticket costs more, but if you want the movie to look better, go see it in 3D. It's not just out of... uh, getting more bucks <laughs> for, for the record i watched it in 2d i just because hmm. that's just what i default to i i i i'm usually you know usually a lot of 3d movies have very ham-fisted uh uh you know 3d elements they just have one character that goes whoa wait yep. into the camera and that's it you know they do that Spy a few kids. times <laughs> yes exactly so i kind of i don't really think to watch things in 3d but now i'm wishing i had with that with that recommendation but i enjoyed it phenomenally in 2d i will say that yep and yeah still great in 3d so yeah but are we ready for the best media that's ever been on awkward if, sure, if you share it with me at some point. I know, but I had, a, I had to keep it a surprise. But I need to give you a lead-in on to how I discovered mm. this, uh, this, this chalice of, of content. So, um, occasionally, because I like the YouTubers that go on it, I watch some YouTube reacts from the Fine Bros, because it's the only react series that they have that I can stand. Like, yes. <laughs> Uh, but uh, because it has like Jack's films and the odd ones out going on it. And I like when they have good personalities, it's like, yeah, I want to hear what they think about things, especially since these are the creators watching creations on their own platform. So it makes sense. And they had one particular reaction recently that had this channel that has 2 million communicative views. So t- 2 million views all around of their videos and uh, 25,000 subscribers. <laughs> So more subscribers than me or this guy right here. <laughs> and he's been doing this for seven years. I'm an I, I'm, may, I'm still bleeding subscriber, so I don't May count. I introduce you to John Drinks Water. <laughs> Just look at his video library. It's very short. His, his whole content is that he just drinks a bottle or a glass of water each video. And he's been doing that pretty much every day for seven years. And it's, 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 it's even multiple ones per day. Yep. What? <laughs> and, I mean, look at it, the entry. John drinks water number 7,300. Oh, my God. This is, this is what we call ironic. <laughs> and, and then he's also has a, he also has reviews of different waters. So it's like <laughs> Glacier Rain versus Aspen Pure Probiotic Water or Dasani versus Aquafina. And just look, he doesn't get like crazy views on each video, but the thing is, he still has two million views in total. And he obviously has a dedicated audience because some of these videos have more views than the awkward cast on YouTube. I just wanted to say his his most watched video, which was the great uh, highlight of uh, num- uh, John Drinks Water number 2919. You remember that beautiful day three years ago. He has 140,000 subs uh, views. Yeah. No, I'm just like, look, I could have picked the other YouTube channel that I found on it, which had, which has over 100,000 subs. And uh, all he do- does in, is that the past four years, he just does four hour live streams of him just sitting on the ground, staring at you and smiling. He's been doing that for four years. And that, but like, I just, what? I, I'm i intrigued here. Oh my I'm God, just, all, all his videos in, in the compilation, the, his first 2,000 views. 
<laughs> yeah, like, I'm intrigued by this. Also, look at the times that some of uh, some of these he records. He just records himself drinking water at 2 a.m. Oh, you got a haircut. And he doesn't take a break when he drinks these water bottles. He just drinks the whole thing in one chug. Oh, that's easy. I could do that. You, you can I should make a channel of like, <laughs> I'm just like, what is this? Oh, he's outside now. Oh, and then he has like a whole time. He had a whole time period where he did this with a fish eye lens for a while and... It's like it's like that meme or that video trend that had it finned a long while ago where someone took a selfie of themselves every day for a year and you see how they change. Except for this guy, it's just drinking water. Oh, he moved his studio. Oh, no, he's picking the old one. I, 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 I know there's a specific video where you see that he keeps all the bottles of water he's drank and he just stacks them up in a pyramid in the background. And I'm just like, I... I did. Oh my god, here he has cut them all together in real time. What we just I, saw in two and a half minutes is now here in nine hours, nearly ten hours of just drinking him water. How many views does that one have? 60,000. <laughs> someone! <laughs> you know that among those 60,000, there has to be some of them that just kept that on. Like a fucking U-log video of just... This guy drinking water. What is this? This is the peak of millennial humor. This is a. <laughs> Look at all a, a, those water bottles in the background on the top of his shelf. Oh my oh, yeah. god. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, and here, here are even more. <laughs> I just. I, I'm can we, feeling can we really this, thirsty. Can we get this guy for the awkward cast? Can what? we get John drinks water? But but, Find but, him. but we we yes. don't we don't even know if he talk. Stop it with the sound. He. He does. He. I mean, he does water reviews, so he does talk. But is he good at it? Oh no, this is this one. This is again. I don't know, but I just. He intrigues me. We need a down the rabbit hole of John drinks water. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's let's listen to his talking. Okay, this is not his talking voice. This is music. It's Essentia, which also has a pH of nine point five, and the speed out sounds exactly <laughs> like I expected. <laughs> Right before I started taking this video, he look. He looks like he can't. He's trying to keep a straight face with all this. <laughs> and I'm just. And I'm just saying the description of his channel is John drinks water is the internet's premier water drinking series. The show that unlocked the web's passion for drinking water. <laughs> I never drunk. Uh, I, I never drunk any water in my entire life until I saw this channel. <laughs> Can you imagine if someone's like, until I saw this channel, I only drank soda. Thanks to John Drinks Water, I drank a water with him every day with with each video entry. And now I've lost 40 pounds. <laughs> it's like, it's like... I, I have, sorry. Oh, no, no, go ahead, go Actually, ahead. I, I have to commend this guy's determination, consistency, his, his, his commitment to this bizarre meta humor you know the, the this and you know it, it, it is just but, he's been doing this for what several years a couple of years how many no, years now seven years seven he's been doing years. this since 2011 oh my god he has a side channel called john eats carrots <laughs> <laughs> how many videos is that john eats carrots number 399 john denver take me home country roads wait and these videos are like 20 minutes long he just eats a plate of carrots. <laughs> oh my god! Some, I, there's, there's some crunching ASMR there. <laughs> I don't even know if it's crunching ASMR. He just eats a whole bag of carrots. What is this man? <laughs> this, this is the thing. I genuinely do believe I found the best media for awkward because it's, it's so. so Weird. <laughs> like I found, like I'm the person. I think we can all agree that on this, the, that on this podcast, I am the internet person. I have found them. I my media's are mostly YouTube channels, and I have picked some great content over the years. And then I find the weird things. <laughs> this is my trudging through the internet at two a.m. Just, I really look, guys. I don't like video raids, but uh. Go to John Drinks Water and say the awkward cast brought you here. <laughs> <laughs> Get him on man, your show. 
give this man support for the dedication of seven years of proper hydration. <laughs> we need more wholesome content like this on YouTube. It, it really does encapsulate YouTube, doesn't it? Or like the purest definition of what YouTube should be. Just someone making something that they weirdly find entertaining and then gaining the audience because of it. Not out of wanting to get some monetary gain or something, just they think it's funny to put up a video each day of them drinking water. They do it for the pure sake of they think it's entertaining. And I think that's great. I was able to to ro rope in a wholesome message with this about <laughs> John drinks water and Johnny. Just be yourself. Just be yourself. I'm really wondering if the... So, to the questions. Home. I'm sorry! I love No, you're this not, and this is a problem about this entire thing. I'm very proud of myself. I'm the one who now has to link John Drink Water below this video. Don't forget to link John Eats Carrots. <laughs> they can find it themselves on John Drink you... Water. I, 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 inc I definitely encourage you. Get him on the show. I, I would love to watch that episode. You know what? When, when, when I'm I at just... a con or whatever, then Keyframe is running the show. She can have you as a co-host and John as a guest. How about Why that? What? No, why do you, what do you have against John drinks water? What did John do to you? Do you not like, do you not like John? John's, John's our new friend. He's, he's... <laughs> John just wants to be the premier water drinking channel on YouTube. So don't, don't, we got one question him, on Twitter. <laughs> From Jamie, I'm guessing? Uh, no, for once not. I believe, hasn't Jamie uh, come to the... Uh, um, Discord? Discord, but he has not asked over there either. Uh, uh, no, for Mr. Mr. Joe Mule, uh, also specifically to you, apparently, to Keyframe, what do you think of the work of Chuck Jones now that the work of Hannah and Barbera company is gone? I, you are probably aware of what he's referring to because I have yes, no but, fucking clue. What okay, he means. no, Hanna Barbera is the is the company that, that made a I bunch know. of yes. yeah. But no, Chuck Jones is the Looney Tunes guy. He made the Looney Tunes. And, and, but but the thing but the thing is like I don't really know what this question is forming. Hanna Barbera has been dissolved for years, yeah. but it was dissolved into Warner Brothers, which <clears> owns the Chuck Jones Looney Tunes properties. So they're just together. Okay, so I didn't miss the any, end. I didn't no, miss anything. It, no, just... it, that was a very weird question because there's no there's no current events that surround it either. It's just, what okay. do you think of this? No, th thanks. <laughs> that was just as awkward as John drinks water. But uh, um, okay, I have a question. <gasps> it's our fuck Mary kill question from Jolly Wolfhead. <laughs> oh, this is the sound I'm hearing. I, so, I wondered if it had hurt something. Oh my god. What? Oh no, not the Zootopia. And the Ladybug, both at once. Yes, but uh, okay. Ask awkward. Okay, this one's gonna be a little tough because they're all good boys. Fuck Mary kill. Jack Septicai, Markiplier, and PewDiePie. And with that, I hope you all have a happy holidays. Oh, why did you make this so hard? This is the hardest for me. Okay. You finally picked all boys that are mildly attractive. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let let let's see. Um, so only he, mildly. <laughs> okay, here here's the thing. Markiplier is is, is a husbando. So oh, yes, he is. I, I so I would marry Markiplier, obviously. Then. Having a night with PewDiePie is probably something you can, uh, you have bragging rights, so I probably would sleep with PewDiePie. And so simply and mostly because I'm not familiar with his stuff, by, by default, Jack Septicai would be killed. Not because I have anything against him, but he, he's not as much as Bando as Markiplier, and he doesn't Thanks. come with we're as never much. Gonna get, we're and never going to get Jack on the podcast now. Or, or maybe he comes now you... to... Maybe, maybe now he wants to come to sway me to, to maybe be his either his one-night stand or his husband. Maybe, yes, cause, maybe. Yes, because we all know that Jack secretly watches this podcast. Oh, totally. Every every <laughs> single week. Hi, Jack. Uh, yeah, hey, but just, just, in the ch just in the chat, we suddenly see, we <laughs> suddenly see Jack Septica. Top of the morning! <laughs> ah, that what was about my, you, that Ambrose? That was my best Irish accent, by the way. That was... <laughs> yeah. But what, what but, about yeah. you, Ambrose? Who's your fuck, Mary kill? 
<laughs> um, so okay, I've already thought about <laughs> I already thought about this. Um, so I would probably probably fuck Markiplier just because have you seen his bod? <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why I wanted to marry him. But okay, you want to fuck him for his bot? Fair, fair. That's fair because, because by contrast, uh, 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 Jack Septicai is—he's just he's a, a fun a, guy. He's, he's just a skinny a, boy. He's, he's a fun guy. So if I had to spend the rest of my life with him, I was like, okay, I would have a fun time at least. He would—he's—he seems like the best person to hang out with when you're doing whatever the hell. He is just. He never seems down. He, I mean, I'm sure he, some of it is a persona, but he just seems like an upbeat, optimistic. How can you not be happy around this person? <laughs> and then, um, you know, like kill, kill PewDiePie. Don't, would don't you, get angry would, at me. <laughs> would, you, would you subscribe to PewDiePie before you kill him? <laughs> that, that's the one question that matters. Probably not. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been into PewDiePie stuff much. It's just not my thing. Why is this song so good? I don't what? know. Come on, and, come on, and oh wow, the, 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 the distance between them got to be Gonna uh, 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 yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. But no, I'm just happy that the, the now there's like a two million subscriber gap between yes. them. Yes, <laughs> we won, fellow nine year olds. But um. <laughs> What he calls his fans nine-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, news to me. But no, okay, I figured out my plan. Okay. And I just want to say, I love all three of them. I don't want to do this. But you have to kill one of them. <laughs> They're all good boys. Okay. I would fuck Jack. Reasoning. Um, reasoning? Yes. I was supposed to say Markiplier. Well, look. <laughs> We're gonna grill you on this. <laughs> I feel like I have to stick to my kind. I oh, am, okay. I am Irish, mm, so mm. I feel like I feel like just it would just be like two two tall two tall leprechauns fucking. But I mean, like, I uh, mean, I, uh, race purity. Also, okay, I, I I get it. Please also, continue. Also, also, just shut up. Also, just <laughs> saying. You have to wonder what sex with a person with that thick of an accent sounds like. <laughs> you make a very and good you, point. You want to find out firsthand. I want to find mouth out. And other body parts. Yes, but no, see, I just want to find out because what if he's the type that is really noisy <laughs> and it's just like, and he screams just as much as he does in the game. In the he video just screams, games. he screams top of the morning to you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> And and, and and you don't want to and you don't want to risk being married to him. I see where you're coming from. No, no. It's the moment of conclusion. He's like, he's like, like a boss. Also, you could thank Game Grumps for say, for coming up with conclude. conclude. <laughs> that is the best term. Okay, so. Now but we okay. know that no, you're no, fucking no. Jack. Yes, so I, I, I have a one-night stand with the green-haired dude. Um, also, I just want to point out, Jack got all three yet. He he, he got... Wait, no, he got fucked by you. Wait, did you marry him? Oh, he, has, he hasn't she hasn't finished yet. Oh, yeah, you, you married him, and I wanted to kill him, so he already got yes. all three. So, and I would marry PewDiePie. Uh, gold digger. Again. Again with no! the gold digging. no, 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 no. No, this is not gold digging. Wait, I you're feel killing, like out of all the you're killing Markiplier. I listen, listen. <laughs> I let you say your reasoning. <laughs> I feel like PewDiePie, out of the three of them, would be the most tolerant of my of my garbage fire meme dum. <laughs> <laughs> he would be very supportive in that regard. That's true. He, he, I could. He, we could what, look at Reddit together. <laughs> And at our wedding, we can be like marriage review. <laughs> but that's that's fair. I think I think Jack would be similarly tolerant of memes, but you've already got him. You've already. But you've already... no, the thing is, I would kill Markiplier and steal his dogs. <laughs> you know, because, that's fair. Because, that's fair. Because have you seen Chica? She is the most adorable pupper in the world, and I want her. And I don't want to kidnap a dog from its owner. 
You, you want to became... have an, you you want to orphan it first and then adopt it. <laughs> wow, yes! so much yes! less trauma. My mark of you know, fire I... just suddenly is found dead in a canyon, and no one knows why. But suddenly, the dog is an orphan, and and it's sad. But then. In comes this kind-hearted soul who adopts this dog to give it a, a good life after its owner's passing. <laughs> after its owner's tragic, mysterious passing at the bottom somehow, of a canyon. Yeah, somehow drowning at the bottom of a, of a, of a dry canyon the in the desert. He was Jeez. going for a walk in the Grand Canyon, and he just mysteriously killed over. <laughs> he just killed him by the w- magic power of fuck, Mary kill. It's like the Death Note. Huh? You, so he just has a the heart moment, attack? Yeah, you, the moment you determine somebody, they're, they're just dead. It's, 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 this is how fuck, Mary. This sounds like a theme for a horror movie, doesn't it? A, oh horror, God, I... a horror porn movie because a third of it is fucking. No, I, man, I just imagine. I mean, they've made horror movies about Ouija boards yeah, and like happy death dance. Oh, God we need to make this movie. But you know yeah. what? I, we need to make a movie about the cootie catcher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, God. the whole cast are five year olds. Yes, no, exactly. It's, it's, it's the, a horror but, movie called The Cooties. But, Don't really? just. Oh, oh. really? Okay, but, yeah, but, but I, not I, about actual cooties. It has to be about a cootie catcher, which is yeah. per, which is adjacent, but ultimately its own thing. The cootie catcher. <laughs> uh, okay, thank you for the question, Wolfhead. Uh, we hope to see more fuck Mary kills in the uh, in the future. Yeah. I, I like but, the fact uh, that we I'm all gonna... had our own setup. We all had our own our own choices. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, Here's a question from Denim. I feel like we can go longer with the questions this time around because it's our last show of the year. Yay. But but Denim asks, because this question is a big mood for me. Oh, boy. What is, mood. This, what is the stupidest way you've ever injured yourself? I'm going to go last with this one. <laughs> Out of shame. Hmm. I'm not even sure if it's stupid or just epic on my end. Uh, I mean, there was stupidity involved, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have gotten injured. Um, what happened? The story of this scar, which is once again not visible. Oh, your the Harry light. Potter scar! Yes, I have a Harry Potter scar. It, 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 it's not in this light, it's completely un- invisible, but it's there. But it exists. it exists. It exists. So, the story about this. <clears throat> Back in the day, I, we are we are talking '90s, so it's actually really back in the day, uh, early in the way. I 1995, I would say, in summer. Okay. S- summer of '95. <laughs> Um, it doesn't have a good ring to it. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. You have to give it to Brian Adams that uh, he had. He picked the he right had, year for he had, it. He had one good song. Yeah, <laughs> but... um, yeah so the, uh, the thing was, uh, which to give a little bit of backstory, I used to be in a children's carnival uh, um, thing. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, where we had a uh, where we had a, a prince, uh, like also a child <coughs> with, with a silly head and okay. everything, and he had a little bit of a of a court with him, like a, a, a tailor, a jester, a, ma- a, a, a an announcer dude. Uh, yeah, like all, all children doing like very children, eh, moving from one carnival event Aww. to the next one, and That's... being very being very cringy on stage. But because we were children, we loved it, and because they were drunk adults in the audience, they loved it too. Anyway, adorable. <laughs> the parents of us children back then grew their own friendship they, they they became their own thing they became close friends and did a lot of stuff so and one day there was a birthday party by one of their parents so all the parents from this group came there and they brought their children because there was still this connection because they all have become friends over the children's carnival singing mickey and um so we children were there at this mostly adult oriented uh, 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 festivity and we were like we are children we need to do something stupid in yeah a, I, I, I cannot recall if we literally said it but in hindsight I have the feeling somebody should have said this um, <laughs> so for our entertainment it was nice weather everything for our entertainment purposes we deca- discovered a, a, a game of gotcha uh, or whatever it's called it's like no, cricket. Crick, cricket? I don't know. What do they play in Alice in Wonderland? I guess. I assume. I don't know. Those cricket. Cricket. Those hammer-shaped 
bet with the oh, hammer. Oh, croquet. Cro croquet. Ah, croquet. croquet. Yeah. Not to be mistaken with crochet. Very good. But crochet, croquet, with those hammer, like like Mario hammer mm -hmm. shaped bets. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so, and you know, normally you play it like a little bit like go. Boop. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we were chill. We were not going for that shit. Uh, so the rule was there was a, a, a little bit of a um, hill. Uh, yeah, a hill for for uh, in the in the car entry area, whatever. I'm missing yeah. English word vocabulary right now. And uh, so obviously the rule was one was a bad guy and tried to kick the ball down with all power, and the other guys uh, were all trying to keep it up uh, all the time. And, oh no! And one of them, whoop, there was my head. Urgh. That like, sounds like a fucking Looney Tunes gag. Oh yeah, and it was, sure does. And I was like, ah, mm, ah, go, going down on the grass, like ah. And apparently, at this time around, the adults realize, say, hey, that's a pretty shitty game the kids are playing. Maybe we should intervene. So the other kids were called to the building, and they were like <laughs> running. And one was like, Max, Max, we have to go, we have to go. And I'm like, ah, mm, pain. I take my hand away, blood, blood everywhere, like ah. Because oh it, was, it, it was this kind of burst wound. So not a deep one, but a, a, a messy one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and then adults realized what was going on. And we're like, oh, God. Oh. And they, they were getting me there and getting me into the garage and lying me on a blanket on the floor. And now, switch of perspective. My mother inside having a drink, everything. Somebody's like, mother, mother of Max. I don't know, Ingrid, whatever. Her first name is not that interesting. In Ingrid. There's something about your son. <laughs> There's something with your son. And the funniest thing is, uh, uh, a year or two passed, I had actually a, a, a low sugar thing, and I, I, I kind of fainted after mm -hmm. uh, something. And my mom in her head was like, "Ah, oh, come on, he did not faint again, did he?" <laughs> and uh, no, like, it internally, profusely. Yeah, so she got led into the garage, and she came in there. And there was this circle of worried-looking adults around somebody lying on the floor. She comes in there, sees me, blood everywhere. I mean, the good thing is my mom is a doctor, so she can see this and very quickly analyze. Okay, it's just a burst wound. It's just a messy birth wound. Still, she came in there like all the adults like. <laughs> and, uh, okay, and, I think that qualifies for a stupid injury. <laughs> and, the fun, the, and, and, and the funny thing about the story is, so the kit, I was actually handled as the next prince for the upcoming year. Mm -hmm. The kit who got me is the one who actually became the prince the next year. It was all part of a plan. This fucking, <laughs> it, they wanted to disfigure this fuck, you. This fucking usurper, 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 usurper. This fucking usurper. He knocked me down and got my throne. I give that. I give that stupid injury since I am the chancellor of stupid injury of stupid injuries. Okay. I'm eight out of ten. Amber, I gave you yeah. more than enough time to come up with one. Go right. Go, Amber. So. Go. I, I was thinking about this, and I was I needed that time because I I honestly am not accident prone. I'm, oh, I'm I, you. yeah. I tend to be I tend to be hyper aware of my I'm, I'm, I tend to be hyper aware of my situations. I'm almost paranoid about my safety, and you know so so I tend to avoid situations in which I might get hurt just just because you know. <clears throat> um, though, though as a kid, uh, ironically as a kid, I was very accident prone just because I was I was always climbing shit because I was a climber. I had to climb trees and I'd fall from them sometimes. But, you know, I got back up, whatever. But um, the one thing, and and I and I realize in retrospect this was actually pretty stupid. It was basically in grade school, um, eighth grade or something like that, um, and recess or something, something like that. And a bunch of the kids, a bunch of the other guys are playing football, and like I was a nerd, I didn't want to play. She, will screw that. I'm gonna go read or something. But for some reason, I had to go to the opposite side of the field that they were playing on, and in pure defiance or just I don't give a shit mentality i just walked straight through the game and that was probably the dumbest thing i did because as i'm sitting there not paying attention to the game just walking straight through 
Um, before I know it, suddenly I get smacked in the side of the head with a full thrown football right into the side of my head. It was this side. And as, when I first got, I didn't even know what happened. I was stunned. I was literally like just knocked to the side, staggered a bit. I'm like, what the hell? And I probably saw white for a moment. I was like, what the hell is going this on? This is how I die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then I was like, after, you know, it was only after like, because I, did, I had no clue what happened. I didn't even realize I was hit by it. It's just my whole senses were, I was knocked senseless. And it was only after the fact that, you know, after like a few seconds later, I'm like, oh, God, and everyone, the t- all the guys are like, you know, oh, dude, you okay? <laughs> Just like, you know, so it, the guy who threw it was was a, a guy in my class named Logan. He was like, you know, in eighth grade, he was already like six feet tall, like the star athlete, you know, with, with arms. <laughs> so he's the one who threw this probably, you know, tw- only like, you know, not even 100 feet away, like, you know, like, you know, 20, 30, something like that. He threw this straight line straight through, and I just happened to walk right in front of it, right at head level, and just, like, smashed me in the head. And I was just, and it was like, okay, don't walk through a football game while they're playing, you know. <laughs> just, it was a dumb, that was a pretty dumb. I don't know how much I can sympathize with you there. You walk through a football game. Yeah, but I mean, it was it was like not like a super serious football game. They were just I, mean, I don't even know if they were actually playing a game. They were just maybe tossing the ball around and running. I don't know what it was recess. It wasn't like super, super serious. And I was okay. I, I when I was a teenager, I was kind of I don't give a shit, you know, what, whatever. Yeah. Um, um, you know, I didn't think I probably had done that many times before and never had a problem. But maybe this time I just wasn't particularly paying attention, you know, and I was fine. I didn't like have any particular injury, you know, I, I, was, I was fine the rest of the day, but I was not sensitive. <laughs> for a few seconds there it was you know literally like the strongest guy in my class throwing this a straight line in you know uh, not even like a, a lob throw i don't know any i don't know any football when, terms you when, know but when he when he threw the home run yes yeah, uh, he threw the home run to get the to, to, to score the points to, to, to score the stanley cup um, I, I see some kind of charlie brown shit going on there little ambrose walking boof, shoes yeah, fly in the air you rotate it was a, a few like, times. I didn't, to my to my to my credit, I didn't fall over. I staggered, but I, I maintained my balance. It was just you know. <laughs> so it and wasn't... with that head injury, Ambrose suddenly was a furry. <laughs> <laughs> it was Logan. It was you I all mean, along. I, I mean, I, I I mean, let's see. So I got hit by a golf ball when I was a small child, and I am a furry. He got hit by a football and is a furry keyframe. Have you by any chance been hit in the head with something during your childhood? A ball okay. or... Uh... Okay, I'm just going to... I'm, I'm going to state a bunch of situations out of context. I'm not going to give context to, but the one story I'm going to go into is my favorite. Okay. Uh, got, a, got a nosebleed from falling face first at a mini golf course. Gotten bitten by my youth pastor's cow. Um... <laughs> Hit in the head with the blunt end of a of a GameCube Wave Bird during a Smash tournament. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, jammed my hand into a car door on the way to Six Flags. I'm not oh, sure geez. how this makes you. Uh, that would make you a furry, but okay. Question to the audience: Since we now have confirmed that three out of three people who are furries got oh, no, hit in the oh, head. Oh no! Oh no! The question, I, the one I'm going to go oh. into, I did get hit in the head. Yes. Oh, and the uh, and my and uh, let's the last one was uh, <laughs> this one's the worst one. <laughs> uh, it was uh, when I was a little kid. Um, almost drowned in a pool because I wanted to get a bath duck. Oh, and and oh, this was also one Thro- aggressively hit in the face with a rubber duck at Dave and Buster's. <laughs> oh yeah, I recall that one. I was there. Yeah, but but, but okay. Okay, I'm, I'm, not gi- I'm not giving the context for those yeah. because I'll probably make a video about all the weird ways I've gotten injured over the years. But the one I'm going to go into is my favorite. Um, little known fact about good old Christine. I'm actually a, a seasoned, experienced, award-winning clarinet player. I did I've, not know this. If you told yes, me I, before, I forgot. I have played clarinet and bass clarinet for since uh second grade so i and i only stopped junior year of high school so over i think pretty much 10 years of my life was dedicated to playing the clarinet and i was a concert and jazz clarinetist and i won like two gold awards at solo performances and i've composed clarinet music and all this stuff Damn, i'm nice yeah um so we were at a state competition the whole concert band 
And I'm for people who don't know what a bass clarinet looks like, because that's the one I played for a long time during my adolescent years, because uh, my clarinet broke in half during a Halloween parade. Oh, also, no. No con also no context. Uh, <laughs> it looks like if a sax, if a berry sax and a clarinet had a baby and it's so big, you need to have like a stand on it. So like this stick, you just stick there and you sit down and play it. It is not a standing instrument. And uh, behind me were the trombone players. All trombone players are assholes. <laughs> I'm going to stick by this philosophy till the day I die. So what they thought was funny was to extend their fucking things all the way out. And it hit, uh, it, it made me and the bassoon player have to lean forward out of, because we didn't want to get hit by the fucking things. And I hit against my music stand mm. and... I went back and I'm and I did and I thought the music stand was just going to settle itself. No, it came went back. <laughs> no, went completely forward, hit my clarinet, and a reed instrument has little uh, bolts that you have to screw in, uh, screws that you have to screw in to hold the reed in place. The screw went right into my eye. Mm. And, 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 you know, I was like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, it hurt. It felt like getting poked in the eye, like, just re with metal. And I was like, oh, whatever, Pfft, tolerance to pain. And we were, um, we started playing our piece, and the conductor looks over to lead us into the, into the, uh, the bassoon and bass clarinet part, and she stopped. And then the, the judge looked over and stopped. Apparently, I was bleeding profusely from my eyelid, and I didn't feel it. And I was like, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, because of a trombone player, I got a black bleeding eye. Ow. Well, I, I totally understand your... Uh, uh... And then I became then a furry. <laughs> and then we're all furries. Furry is personal head injuries. <laughs> but uh, that was a good question. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, one from Enigma. With the podcast being the last one for 2018... Ray and Y and Keyframe, what podcast from this year has been the best one for you in terms of topics, how that week went for you, and special guests? So what your favorite podcast of this year? And don't try to be all nice and say that this podcast that you are answering this question to is the best. Be absolutely genuine and honest with your answer. Well, some of my favorites have been the ones with Ambrose because we just go completely off the rails on these episodes. <laughs> I, I, I'm like just that. looking and who we uh, who our guests were and try to recall because I, this was also fun to remember like oh right we're right we had this person as a guest uh, hmm I, mean, I think out of oh yeah you go you yeah. go I mean uh, uh, Brad Jones was actually uh, uh, pretty fun uh huh uh, uh, but wait who was it who was it again. We had recently. Oh yeah, right, Danny. Danny, who was also. Uh, oh, Daniel really Tan. Fun. Yeah, Daniel yes. Tan was also pretty uh, uh, fun. So yeah. Yeah, I think my two favorites are um, Brad, because Brad was so great, so charismatic, and uh, for the sheet. For the sheer fact of that thing where I showed that Switzerland tunnel opening thing, Jesse is Jesse was also really great. That was that oh, was yeah. a great highlight. And and also showing love on a leash to Bill Newton was also great. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> hell yeah! But uh, there's my answers. And Ambers, we like you too. <laughs> yes, you're decent. My favorites uh, are the one with me in them. Because I'm a narcissist. I'm, my favorite ones are the ones with Keyframe in it. No, my favorite my favorite ones are the Eurocast because Keyframe's not in it. We don't have a loud New the, Yorker the, screaming the, at I figures. believe there was a Eurocast where I was not in it. You had a Eurocast. Oh, oh yeah, no, I it, did have but a then it wasn't a Eurocast because you were yeah, in it. Yeah, no, it, it was the Euro with the American. Yeah, yeah. But uh, let's see. That was a good question. From Lupus. If you if you could change one thing about the internet, not limited technology behavior or structure, what would that be? And how would that change affect the internet? Uh, can I just make it impossible for people to do dumb fucking censorship laws? Ooh, yeah, like or just in general. Topical. Free internet. Topical. Free, truly free internet. Done. Uh, <laughs> But okay, hmm, what 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 else could you throw in? I mean, how would it affect it? It would be better done. 
<laughs> Done. <laughs> um, uh, well, next question. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I'm... what what else can can we come up with other aspects or so? Or do you want to expand on it, Key? Uh, no, I was just thinking it's either that or completely eradicate leakers because leakers ruin everything. Ah, this would actually, I mean, you just mean leaking before it comes out? Yes, because I, I yes. find this highly annoying, but if you think about it, in the f kind of everything or watch cartoons online is kind of leaked to a certain degree, so... Well, I, know, I don't mean, look, I mean specifically before it comes out. The okay. smash leaking is fucking abhorrent. <laughs> People who leak all the Steven Bomb episodes, even though I like Steven Universe, I fucking hate it. Because then people don't DVR the shit or they don't go on the app to watch it. So they have no fucking idea of how to air the damn show. So it's like, stop mm -hmm. leaking shit if you like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you make it everyone else's lives difficult. Stop it. <laughs> Get some help. You so, mean but, people like, who, you basically mean people who both spoil content for others as well as make, you know, make it hard to market the content so that it ends up being, it, yeah. its ratings get hampered. Yeah, exactly. That that would be that that would be my things. But if you guys can come up with anything else, I mean, mine is. I mean, those things true. Like especially the censorship one. That's that that's my top list. But if I had to come up with another one, some ambiguous. Let's get rid of all the assholes on the internet. Let's get let's get rid of toxic anonymity, which is a difficult. Which I really wouldn't know how to approach because you know, and and an, an, yeah, it's hard to say. Anonymity on the internet is kind of important. But it's very problematic when you get people who use it as a license to be assholes, mm -hmm. you know. Um, um, so I don't really know what the answer to that is. But if I could just, you know, be, you know yeah. do magic and make it, I would like to get rid of, you know, toxicity on on the internet, basically. Ambrus, you want to get rid of assholes? I don't feel so good. Oh, no! No! <laughs> oh, no, that would be, yeah, just <laughs> infinity glove. Everybody who is a dick on, or like. I mean, if yeah, you this had would the kill us. And said it would kill assholes. You would disappear. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, 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 no, but but the specific kind of internet asshole who who doesn't stand up for what they do, who don't uh, ac uh, accept the consequences, uh, those, those kind of who willfully hurt other people. I mean, I I am an asshole, but good natured. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, I mean, you know, I, I use asshole colloquially, but yes. I think that the the, 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 out, the operative word is ooh. toxic, is, yeah, is yeah, the but, word but, I'm ooh, actually ooh, going ooh. for. But, 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 ooh, I imagine. <laughs> what if the infinity grope is not very smart and takes you literally? I, wanna, oh, I want all assholes to disappear. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> oh. no. Would we just explode? <laughs> I'd rather not think about it. <laughs> No, the thing is, would we just explode or would we just lose that entire thing and just excrete excrement like amoebas and cells do? Okay, just okay, I'm, I'm, with Ambers, I'm with Ambers at this point. We don't want to think or, about or, it. Or it just converts into energy. We would be more energy oh, efficient. We like would be human one. Priuses. Oh, I like this one. Uh, uh, can I come I up like with I a third one? Because I, I, I actually wanted to go in a similar direction as Ambers, but since he took that... Uh, we have a free internet. All your ideas. Okay, right at, at this point, we have a free internet without assholes on it. Uh, what else can we do on the internet to make it uh, 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 better? Um, oh, there's not a lot of things left at this point. I will admit. Uh, co corporations. Fuck corporations. Not I was just, gonna go there. Yeah, not just. I mean, you 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 covered the censorship, or uh, no no keyframe covered the censorship, but. Uh, um, YouTube, even if YouTube would not censor stuff, or uh, they still have their algorithms that kind of uh, push certain content forward and other content back. I mean, the entire rise of the Let's Players was because of an algorithm. Nowadays, other forms of uh, content who are not just quantity fight their way back into the uh, limelight. Um, is Keyframe frozen or just very still? Oh no! Okay, I'm you very, have been very still. Wow, this was impressive. Look, look, just saying, I may be a hyperactive person because I drank this whole can of Monster and took and, some caffeine oh, pills before and, the cast. Doesn't oh. mean that I that I can't be still for five minutes. Uh, no, but you were like <laughs> not moving still. Um, yeah, but uh, basically, um, take take the corporation out of the internet. Uh, uh, make it, uh, yeah, creator driven again. 
Okay, you, you <laughs> still have to read. You still have to read the next question now. Okay, sorry. I just I wanted to see. See, that was the four. The, imagine that, but for four hours, that was the channel that I didn't show on the media. Um, okay, uh, Kenzu asks, "What is the dumbest thing you've ever seen a customer at a store do?" So basically, those um, let me speak to your manager, people. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Um, let's see. I mean, I, I just have, I, I don't really notice this kind of stuff, so I didn't see it. However, I have a pet peeve uh, with with a lot of people. Actually, the majority of people do in a store, and it really bothers me. It's, it's What is it? Um, so, you, you, you know when you have the belt on, uh, at, the, at the cashier? This automatic yes. belt? I'm not sure what it's yeah. called. The, the conveyor belt. Conveyor belt, yeah, the conveyor belt and the cashier. And it usually is a little bit of stop and go because it goes, uh, the article slowly move forward. And f nearly all people, except me, of course, because I'm a superior, uh, I have superior intellect and don't do this primitive nonsense, probably insulting everybody right now. Nearly everybody I know puts their bottles they buy this way on it so it always rolls back and forwards with every Why movement. Why do people do that? That's so dumb! I know! Just take the bo bottle and put it length, whatever this is in English. Like like in the same way as the belt because the stop and go doesn't affect it anymore and it stays in place. It maybe shakes a little bit but it goes forward. Nearly all people do this. I don't get why. It's... 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 I don't get no. it. I, I look at it, I look at it and I'm like yeah, you, you place the bottle this way, so it doesn't roll for back and forwards. But for the majority of people, it apparently, I'm not sure, but they probably don't waste precious brain cells on this issue like I do, but <laughs> <laughs> intuitively, what, they, they do it intuitively wrong. I feel like Sheldon in Big Bang Theory when he is like, okay, at least they don't put it standing on it even so they they are depending on the belt they can work no i i, I feel like sheldon who looks at penny sleeping with the head to the door and is like ha, ha 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 you're doing it wrong evolutionary you should sleep the other way but yeah whatever <laughs> this, this is my okay what what about you guys uh, and, and and customers doing can, weird can, things can, can i just say children don't belong in stores <laughs> um <laughs> no uh, no because most of the things that came to my mind was parents Neglecting thinking that yeah parents thinking retail workers are babysitters because i've had so many experiences one particular one where i was at like i think it was like walmart or target and i was just getting stuff and there was just this kid who started walking through the aisle and stick his arm out by the jars of pickles suddenly four jars of pickles are broken on the ground oh god and then he just walked away Oh my god. And I'm like, wow. well, first of all, well, first of all, I'm getting out of this aisle because I don't want to be accused of being the pickle breaker. I don't even like pickles. But it's like, second of all, I'm like, where the fuck are your parents? And then it's also like stuff like going to furniture stores and the kids are jumping on the couches. And it's like, I know that's not our display, but get your dirty ass shoes off the couches. Like, it's just like. I understand children don't have the permanence to realize that, but that's why there's parents. No, 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 no. But here's the thing. Those children probably don't do this at home because they would get a, 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 a pair of hot ears from their parents if they would jump up and down on the couch. So the parents allow them to do it in the store. They know that the parents will not intervene in the store like they would at home. There is bad parenting going on there. There's no yeah. excuse. Yeah, Sounds so it, right. yeah, so it's just like I I can't I can't. Uh, <laughs> the the only other thing where I'm like adults is that I have found half-eaten bags of food in the store. And I'm like <laughs> And that's either a very sad story or a very asshole story, and I don't really know if I want to know the difference because either <laughs> way it just ends bad. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I know in this context, uh, uh, since uh, Denim is or Denim Ninja is also working in um, uh, retail, uh, yeah. she, she made it her hobby to take pictures on her phone of misplaced items in the store. Th there, there are some epic ones. Uh, right, uh, Harvey. Yeah, yeah, but th there are some epic ones where you really think like, wow, what the fuck did the people think uh, to put it there? Like, some, some are just curious, like, 
I don't know, condoms in the sweets department or something. I don't know. But that's that sounds like <laughs> that sounds like a troll. Yeah, that sounds like a one. But yeah, some said are also like, huh? I've, uh, I've seen I've seen people take when I worked at a grocery store. I've seen people take frozen meat and put it in like the refrigerated area. You know, leave it there and go on until like I, I show up later and there's this this refrigerated. Uh, once frozen meat sitting on uncooked sitting on top of a bunch of refrigerated you know tv dinners or something and i'm like you dumbass mm. you know, why would you do that you ruined you know possibly all of this stuff you know it, it and, and and i it, like either if they're just being doing it on purpose to be obtuse and obnoxious then screw them but if they're thinking oh this refrigerated it's the same as being frozen or you know it, it'll be frozen or something like, i don't even know but they do that and just like it's like the no worst, why why the worst why? thing is when they put cans of soda or monster into the freezer section freezer. it's like it's like no that doesn't chill the things because if you forget it you know what happens when you put a can of carbonated beverage inside of a fucking freezer boom it's here boom. comes a boom ready or not it's yeah but thank you for the question yes. ken uh okay we have two more questions mm. uh Unirob asks, what is the weirdest thing you've done whilst drunk? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, what what are your guys' stories so I can think about it? Uh, should I, uh, uh, I guess since we are asking weird and, and not uh, outright retarded, uh, I go with a weird one. <laughs> Damn it, I just set up a new question for a following episode, didn't I? Um, no, a, a weird one was... Uh, high school we were at a at a dude's place where there was a little party going on with drinking and um at some point a, a, a dude and a girl i'm not even sure if there actually was something going on but yeah they, they went for a walk in the evening like like late evening not not too dark but no actually they went for a walk Oh, okay. However, we were like, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. Let, let's check out what's going on there. So me and uh, a buddy of mine who we were both like, okay, <laughs> let's buy on them. And so what we did were, was we were uh, 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 on the floor, crouching on the floor, like on all fours, like rubbing forward on a graveled pass. <laughs> Probably only 20 meters behind them, so we were uh, giggling, <laughs> so we were audible, we were visible. <laughs> I'm just saying, if it was actually them boning, what, what would be the reward of that? Seeing your friend fucking someone? No, but but yeah, me, me and my buddy both like <laughs> robbing, uh, no, no, not robbing, but crawling over, over the gravel, to, and, and then they were like, they probably noticed us and were like, we see you or something. And we were like, oh, no, no, they didn't see us. And we go off the road into the, 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 the little side, into the green and the bushes. Like, <laughs> they totally did not see us. Like, Are you sure that's not the most retarded? Because I'm sorry, that's, that sounds very, to be kind of off color, that's a very <laughs> short bus thing to do, Max. But it, it, you're a special Master boy. self. Master self. I yeah, know, right? Nat 20, but like... <laughs> I'm a drunk ninja. Uh, uh, let's see. Dr British ninja, denim ninja, drunk ninja. ninja. Also, but, this no. is getting too hot, so enjoy, uh, enjoy Trump one last time. Good riddance. You continue talking. Uh, let's see. Uh, Empress, are you, a, are you a drinker, a partaker of the devil's juice? Oh, uh, what? Uh, um... Sorry, I was zoned out for a moment there. <laughs> no, I said, are you a partaker of the devil's juice? And if so, have you done fire water? <laughs> oh, okay, fire, fire water. water. Hell yeah! <laughs> so, so, so um, uh, what have you done? I honestly, I've never been that drunk before. I tend to drink. I try. I try my best to drink responsibly. Alcoholism runs in my family, so I'm hyper aware of how much I drink, and I I stay away from. I stay away from uh, uh, excessive drinking. I've been, I guess. The drunkest I've ever been was when I couldn't walk down a hallway straight. I would walk, I would start to go to go to the bathroom, and I would like, oh, I'm I'm against the wall now. I'm just I'm just walking as I'm sliding on the wall as I'm walking forward. 
<laughs> you know, but I was still conscious and lucid enough to remember everything. Um, so yeah, I guess tipsy is what that would be. I was, I've been severely tipsy. I've never been straight out drunk. And as such, I've never done anything particularly weird or stupid. I've just made an ass of myself on the internet. <laughs> just playing playing Dota with my friends when I was that drunk and thinking I was the funniest person in the world, making all kinds of dumb jokes and eventually someone's like, Okay, we get it, dude. You're drunk and you think you're funny and I'm like, Oh, I'm sorry. And I, I Everyone shut becomes a bard when they're drunk. Uh <laughs> Even if they don't have the perform skill for it. <laughs> no, they have a disadvantage. But um, <laughs> here, let's see. Because here's the thing about good old Chrissy. I wouldn't call the things I do weird. Be, and also, I don't tend to get super drunk unless I'm around certain company. One exception was Euroference, but that's because... I, there was certain things going on that made me weaker to alcohol than usual, and I drank a lot more than what I usually do when I'm in public. Oh, man, I almost threw up on that train. <laughs> but, like, uh, that's not weird. That's just sad. <laughs> but, like, uh, let's see. I mean, the thing is, I guess the weirdest thing would be us sitting in, us lying in the grass and me monologuing at Robert's house. Oh, yes, this was but, pretty but weird, I, actually. But, I, cannot recall. But, I don't, but I don't remember half of it, so I can't say that I would say it's the weirdest because I don't remember it. But that was the one time that I've drunk that I actually had fade-ins and fade-outs. Every other time, I'm, I remember everything. But, like... Uh, I don't know what was going on that night. That we drank a variety of alcohols, and uh, I, I think I, in all honesty, my theory of what happened is that I started having an extreme manic episode, and I've never drank while having a manic episode. Hmm. So I think I just had euphoric energy, and that mixed with alcohol just became I became Lin Manuel Miranda. So. <laughs> That's a discovery. But no, I think the weirdest <laughs> thing that I've done while drunk that is completely true and will creep Max out a lot. <laughs> oh, I apologize boy. in advance. Um, I got drunk once and it was the and I fell asleep at some point in the night. This was while I was visiting you. And, um... What, what happened? Should I look under the bed or... Uh, did <laughs> no, you... no, 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 no. I don't know. I think I was still like all drunk plus half asleep is not a good combo because I think partially me, I st still thought I was dreaming or something. Um, I got out of my, the bed I was sleeping in and I just stood over the bed and stared down at you. And I don't, and the thing, <laughs> the thing was, I don't think it was a long period of time. But I, I remember trying to wake you up and you wouldn't wake up. And then I went into the living room and cried because I thought you were dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then I so and then I and then I went to get some water and I sobered up a bit and I was like, no way he's snoring. He's fine. And I felt really good. And then I went back to sleep. <laughs> the Pat, thing Pat. is, it's the thing not is, creepy. I want to watch him sleep at night. <laughs> No, the thing is, I have a lot of dreams where people die, so, or I'm in a post-apocalyptic place. So me being drunk and partially still in a dreamscape, it's not out of the ordinary that I would think someone's dead. And I, to I, be I, fair, you were very deep asleep, and I was calling your name for like five minutes, and you wouldn't wake up. So you see, I'm, see, I'm seeing a lot of people reacting like that's crazy in the chat, and like, actually, I completely understand. I have similar kinds of dreams and nightmares and, and whatever so you know if, if you're in a really like addled state between the lack of sleep and, and or, or you'll sleep you know and uh and drunk and whatever i could totally imagine coming to that conclusion uh, and i used to and i used to sleepwalk so none of this is out of the ordinary <laughs> but like do we I'm have more sorry. You said we had really... one more question, right? Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Now I feel like you're never going to let me visit again while drinking. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to put a tripwire over your bed to be like, Chrissy, go back to fucking sleep. <laughs> I'm not dead. Go back to bed. <laughs> Lightning round. What's your favorite drink? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. hard liquor. Um, I, uh, I mean, I love... Wine, Long Island iced teas, and sex on the beaches. 
Mm -hmm. Sex on the Beach is a good one. Uh, if I go for uh, more the long drink, then probably gin tonic. Oh, yeah. That's good. I like gin tonic. My, my poison is cinnamon whiskey, though I also like pretty much any kind of apple cider. Hmm. Cider's good, especially I that berry cider that uh, Max oh, always berry. gets. Berry cider, yeah. I want that. I want that. Sounds oh, good. Oh, I've never had it. So oh, good. the Bulmers, yeah. Yeah, uh, Bulmers. And Bulmers. A little bit on yes. the expensive side, but mm, ah, worth it. That sounds good. But uh, our final question from our question lord, Enigma Royal Prince. Yay. Oh, wait. No, we have two questions. Oh, boy. Uh, this, this one's a quick one. Ask Awkward. Have you ever started watching a YouTube personality and without really knowing it, start adding certain phrases or uh, mannerisms that they, that they have into your normal speech pattern? Yes, and if, so, to you. <laughs> and if so, what and whom? Think of meme culture when normalizing the word oof. <laughs> the answer is and this yes, one, and I don't recall who it was. What is Prob the ism? Probably, probably look at my speech pattern and whatnot, and retrace where I stole them from. But uh, I, I stole. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, but yeah, I know that I'm actually uh, perceptible to adapt phrases, especially when I follow somebody. I stole dunion rings from the Game Grumps. <laughs> the Game Grumps. I say, I say dunion rings too. Uh, That's genius. I, uh, I, I, I took Wolf from Dan uh, from Game Grumps, and I. I know that I have certain isms from other people because I watch so many people. Um, I say suave a lot more than um, I probably should that's um, from the odd ones out. But the most recent mannerism, and people have pointed it out in the house, is because I've been watching uh, Jenna Marbles recently because I just I was sick and I started watching her and I'm like, she's so chill. I can watch her videos and chill out. Um, and she has really dumb looking dogs and i love it um and she goes oh hell yeah <laughs> and i just and now i started just going hell yeah about everything <laughs> and now people are like why are you talking like that and i've noticed because she's a new she's an upstate new yorker so mm. she talks in an accent people have noticed that i started talking in my in my old accent a lot more and i'm like oh no i need to limit how much i watch because people are going to not like me very quickly also also i just recalled uh uh british british swearing from total biscuit and actually the opening oh, yeah. and actually the opening of this show hello and welcome oh uh, yeah Hello and welcome. No, wait, wait, uh, hello and welcome to the co-optional podcast. Whatever he, how he opens, it's, it's the opening is from Total Biscuit, actually. But I mean, yes, it's not thank that, you, you. Yeah. 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 But uh, thank you, YouTubers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gave us new words in our in our personal dictionaries. Great. We are very susceptible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, now to the final question by our royal prince. What sage-like advice do the three of you have for the upcoming year of 2019? Enigma, what makes you think any of us are in any way sage? <laughs> I'm just going to say that. I, I, I come I, from a country of philosophers, so obviously I'm a sage by default. Oh, uh, well, okay, then you can go first. What's your advice? Uh, I guess I should go last. Oh, well, okay, Ambrose, why don't you go first? Sage advice would be... Um, hmm, 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 what's... Sink before you talk. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to, I guess what I'm Easy. trying to say is, do I say something really stupid or say something actually profound? That's a question. Watch John <laughs> drinks water. <laughs> yeah, watch John drinks. That's my advice for 2019. Go watch, go, go watch Spider Verse into the Spider Verse. <laughs> go subscribe to PewDiePie. Um, oh, oh, there we go. Ah, uh, that sage advice. But, but for, okay, but for real, I actually, I actually do have a little one in that because uh, I, I had this is something that I had to do at the beginning of this year is don't tolerate fake friends. That's something Ooh, that's that, that, that that that's a big. They they are a drain on your resources and you know emotions and a waste of your time so that would be you know for a fresh start of 2000 of 2019 don't tolerate fake friends yeah uh my advice i mean if anyone wants life advice for me just watch my live streams <laughs> my live streams become te ted talks i'm just saying um but no I, this is an advice that i've learned over the course of this year um 
because my natural state of mind before I started going on medication and seeing psych stuff, my normal neutral state of mind was a state of constant paranoia and despair event horizon. And all of my friends and close ones had to constantly tell me, everything's okay, stop worrying. What you fear is in your head. And that taken, took me a while to do. Because I always fear the future, and I, that was a survival tactic that I had. And I think the advice I would give, especially with how it seems like every year gets shittier and shittier, or history repeats itself and all this shit, our time on this earth is fucking finite. You make your imprint, and then poof, you're gone. And you can either spend that time worrying about the future or being like, why am I not at this certain point that other people younger or older than me are at or stuff like that. And it's just like if you spend that time worrying and fearing, you're not using the time you have. You're thinking about the time you may have. And so with that, you have today and you may have tomorrow. But that's not known. It's implied, but it's not known. So just enjoy life day by day. If there's Live in the present. Yeah, if there's people you care about and people you enjoy being around, be around those people because you don't know when they're going to... And do the things you enjoy because you don't know when you're not going to have that ability anymore. Don't worry about, these lo- about the long-term things when you have today to enjoy what you have. Because when you finally realize what you have, it's not going to be there anymore. And then you're going to constantly be stuck in your head of what more could I have done? So, and what good advice? But yeah, if, 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 if you had a final thought then. Oh no, that was my okay, advice. So, so, enjoy, so, yeah. enjoy, the, enjoy the present. So, so, so your sage advice for 2019 is basically YOLO. Well, don't, snort coke off of hookers and kill people oh, d- d- uh, don't don't as long as you're not hurting yourself or others enjoy your life i mean wh- why we why we go with uh, sincere advice i guess i can shake one out of uh, 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 g- g- share one as well uh mine is actually not so specific about the year but uh, just a general understanding i got with age so i'm actually due to my age i can probably be a little bit of a sage here all right uh, go oh, ahead but oh, because and, and my how old are you 34 oh, okay. um but yeah with, with, with my wisdom of of age uh, uh, um i can say something that you probably heard before but you never believe it until you actually grow old enough to realize it's true <laughs> um don't don't take stuff too seriously. Don't worry about too much. I mean, uh, still do stuff. Be invested. Uh, if you happen uh, uh, have to live in a country where certain uh, where political bullshit goes on, be active. Don't be completely apathetic and passive. Uh, complacent. But, yeah, or, or complacent. But still don't worry. If somebody on the internet uh, sends you a mean PM or is an asshole, don't. It's just an idiot on the internet. What do you care about what they they, say or do? Uh, If 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 a if a bad an objectively bad politician gets elected, uh, we have been there before. As as Keyframe said, history does repeat itself. It's uh, uh, I I I recently like with with the uh, with the entire. uh, I mean, how how many times has the internet died by now? I mean, there was net neutrality. There's Article 13. Yes, it's there, all. There was SOPA and yeah. FAFSA. Yeah, and there, there is all real shit. And if anything of this goes through, this will change internet as it is. But there has been stuff changing all the time throughout history. This is the next thing. It's it's yeah, fight against it, make the best out of it. But at the end of the day. Um, don't let it ruin your life. Don't let it ruin your enjoyment of life. Be, be like, yeah, this is shit. But there will always be something new afterwards. There always is. And, and until we blow the planet up, then there's actually end yeah. game. But Yeah, I want to add um, one thing because it, it, it goes into yours. Because, mm-hmm. uh, like, I mean, the, uh, the reason why I like doing the advice stuff is because, not to sound pompous, I've been through a lot of shit. <laughs> I think anyone could be like, yeah, we'll give you that. <laughs> but but like 
my my advice that goes into the year and not taking stuff seriously, enjoying the present, goes into one thing. There is a difference between being afraid and being a coward. And that's a coward lets their fears and insecurities and being afraid stop them. It's natural to be afraid, but being afraid does not mean you can't supersede it. Because because I'm afraid all the time. Again, neutral state is fear and paranoia. <laughs> but I'm not a coward. Because if I was a coward, for one thing, I wouldn't have made the friends that I have. I wouldn't be on this podcast. I wouldn't talk about my issues. I wouldn't do anything. I would have closed everyone off because I fear people. I fear pain. I mean, I the PTSD does shit to you, man. But like... Don't become a coward and don't be afraid of being afraid because it's being afraid and superseding that that makes you realize how much strength you actually have. And I think, and, and that's, that's also my advice because yeah, I, because a lot of that stuff, it's like 2018 was a shitty year. Oh, <laughs> Christ, 2018 was a shitty year. But it was also a year where I think if it wasn't for the shitty things, especially that I've gone through personally, I wouldn't learn the advice that I have because I'm learning as I grow, like we all do. Yeah. But there's your advice, Enigma. Are you happy? Yeah. We had to end this podcast being all yeah. sincere and shit while I'm wearing a jolly as fuck sweater. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, since, since this is the last episode, I for once don't want to end it on, oh yeah, blink it. I don't want to end it on our usual catchphrase of uh, uh, somebody saying awkward. Instead, let's all just have it uh, uh, finish out by listening to this. The long enhanced version of our theme song. A and Y and Key say hi to the people in the chat. Memes are seen on this live stream as they talk about random crap. It's time for awkward gags. It's the awkward. It's the awkward. Random guests and funny gags on the awkward gags. It's the awkward. Gags. It's the awkward. Odd work and analysis, which you do not want to miss on awkward gags. Tell us why we should care about you. And why you're on our screen the Special <laughs> guests are put to test On how awkward they can be With A and Y and With A and Y and Q With A and Y and Q This awkward cast we'll see With A and Y and With A and Y and Q With A and Y and Q Get ready for all the sass oh, 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 On this week's awkward cast With A and Y and And all the fan service, Chi Chi Ki Chi Choke, Bogo and Briz, and yet so many more to come. From TV shows to brand new games, how don't the guests become insane? They cover everything under the sun. <laughs> it's the awkward, it's the awkward cast. It's the awkward, it's Awkward cast. I'm gonna lose my voice if I keep this up. <laughs> I'm gonna need a break. It just keeps getting more awkward and more and more. <coughs> oh, that was a bull squeak and a half. <laughs> Topic, cinema snob and emerald comment and we 
Make by the very awkward uni <laughs> 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 That was very awkward, even for me. <laughs> Hashtag shameless plug. <laughs> it's time for awkward that gags. Was awkward. That was awkward. Random guests and funny gags. It's the awkward, that was awkward. gags. That was awkward. Artwork and analysis, whoa, whoa, whoa. which you do not want to miss on awkward. To the people in the chat The meme I've seen on this live stream And talk about random crap It's time for awkward cast Random guests and funny gags It's the awkward cast Artists and analysis You do not want to miss the awkward cast